personal uh, kundalini and the planetary prana and uh, that emanates uh, in everything and everybody. But uh, oh, yeah. the kundalini rising, do they use actually teach the Indian philosophies and the Indian names or uh, just, uh, the, um, I guess, they use the word kundalini, in other words, the same language? Yeah, they do use the word kundalini. And when you get the bachelor's and even the master's level, it's really a door opener so you can go into deeper esoteric and mythical, mystic um, studies. Um, it points you in the right directions. And the whole point about metaphysics is get there how best works for you. I mean, you don't – it's not a specific religion. It's the manipulation of energy. So you learn how to work with energy. But Wonderful. I went and got the Reiki separately and all the advanced stuff is separately. But, yes, I am getting more mis- knowledge of the mystic ancient teachings because they were gotten the only way you can get them, and that is through meditation and spiritual insight. Wonderful. Yes, we've uh, had the Ascension Center since 89 to 94, and we've also always, uh, I've taught over 1,500 psychic counselors and We've had life coaches and wellness practitioners and, of course, ministers. And Bill and I ask everybody to join the Modesta Universal Life Ministries, especially if you plan on working in the healing industry and marrying people. But uh, that's right. up to you. But we, we share that. It's a free thing, folks. You just get registered on the Internet. So we have our Sundays is our Internet uh, Ascension Center Church online for very spiritual people. But... We do pretty good. We handle different messages, I think. You know, we do pretty good. What do you think, Bill? You think we do okay? <laughs> You're yeah, we all do all right. We do okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah, I was just so, looking at uh, at the website here for the University of Metaphysics. Wow. Uh-huh. Looks impressive. Yeah. <clears throat> Is it the same? Are we on the same page as far as basic philosophies or... Oh, sure. Know? Yeah, most all I'm pretty sure we place. are, or I wouldn't have gravitated over here. That's, yeah, that, that's yeah. really important to me. I would not have gravitated over here unless it was meant to be in my path. So, well, yeah, yeah, most I think, people resonate with that evolving consciousness and awakening and awareness of your own heart and yeah. path, your chakra. I, I believe that we're, Bill, I think we're very much on uh, studying everything. Uh, we're very much about consciousness, research, awakening, awareness. But metaphysics in general, in cosmology. So, uh, folks, we're very much about uh, sincere spiritual educational awareness and doing it with you and online. So, you know, the divine design uh, picks you, and and you get to come here. (laughs) And uh, we're working uh, with people. We have many friends that are caregivers. A lot of them at uh, different levels, a lot of registered nurses. And, uh, believe it or not, I've got friends in uh, very many levels of Ph.D. Re- recently we were doing uh, the International Science Global Pyramid Conference with Dr. Uh, Reverend Martha Thomas and uh, in Chicago. and She's done a wonderful job of bringing various groups, including Dr. Robert J. Gilbert and his group, the Vesica Organization, separate from our own. And we have many, many people that have different groups in different organizations. So if you're one of those uh, and would like to join us, please let us know. We're very much about synergy, your mystical thoughts, your ideas, and how we project uh, our speech craft. Now, we're utilizing people that show up tonight to discuss our constant etheric prana changing and we've had a couple of people help us slightly <laughs> about erecting good, healthy thought processes, but especially using your voice, your vital energy on the radio. And, uh, you know, I could tell it was interesting that Walter uh, talked about his great expensive, he called in for the first time in Florida, but he had very good equipment, and he knew that. And and yet that seemed to be something that uh, – this woman, I guess it was a woman, a man or woman. You know, that was... was that, it was you think it, Ed. Walter and Eddie? Ed were the problem. <laughs> Walter and Eddie. And uh, they did have different area codes, so I don't know if they knew each other or not. Something told me that they were working differently, but uh, it struck a nerve center, didn't it? You could tell. Mm-hmm. So you just, you didn't have to... 
whether it was meant to be or not, there was something that they were both working on. And I guess we got to be a part of it and just sort of, for whatever reason. <laughs> Which is weird see. because I wasn't, trigger, I wasn't triggered at all, so I didn't understand. I wasn't either. I knew I he did sound like, loud. Well, I didn't yeah. sound that loud. I mean, he's on a mobile phone, for God's sake. Yeah. I don't know. I thought it was odd. It was. Yeah. <laughs> it seemed <laughs> well, to be being odd. And unnecessary. Or they could have been yeah. calling in as a joke. You never know. Sometimes they call in and joke around. Yeah, I sort of got that feeling. Uh, I don't know. Did anybody else get that feeling that sometimes? It was a tag team, it seemed to me like. Yeah. Yeah, it could have been. Yeah, Yeah, we've had some of those before. And when I'd ask people to call in or have a call-in show with uh, psychics, uh, some people just do that, uh, interestingly enough, to uh, entertain themselves. (laughs) Of all the places in all the world. (laughs) So the human will, okay, what afflicts or what affects the human will? And sometimes it can be uh, uh, positive and sometimes it can be negative. But, uh, you know, basically this land is a dualistic place, positive and negative. And the the trick with our love of nature is to learn to balance and not to destroy or destruct uh, the energy, especially when we're trying to create something together because most every one of us is a co-creator. And choosing the words wisely to combine love with wisdom, that's usually the bottom line, I would think, with metaphysicians is uh, love and wisdom. We say love and light, folks. You may say, oh, you want to be a love and lighter. You'll hear that. That's your metaphysical talk a lot of times for people that do love and wisdom, love and light. Uh, have you heard that, uh, Mary Lou, to get you involved here? Have you heard about the Love and Lighters? Of course. Can you hear me? Uh-oh, did I lose Mary Lou? Oh, Uh-oh, I did. She dropped. Okay. Uh, Mary Lou, I'm sorry. Uh, somehow uh, she was here and she fell off. 917, where are you calling from? Hi, New York? it's me. Hi, I've been expecting you. Of course. Yeah, tell everybody your name again. Good. Glad you called in. Yeah, Uh I'm glad you have a show here. Yeah. And just wanted to say hi. Thank you. I'm so glad you're here. (laughs) Tell everybody your the name your name for that you're using right now. Your name. It's just Anna. It's just Anna. <laughs> yeah. It's always been Anna. And Mary Lou, I'm sorry. Uh, Mary, uh, I was Mary's in the chat room, but Mary, if you want to call back in, feel, please feel free to call back in. Uh, I was having a little trouble, and I needed some people to help uh, with the show, uh, to help balance the forces of love and wisdom. And there she is. I don't know how she got kicked off, Anna, but hold on. Let me get Mary. Mary, you there? Can you hear me? Okay, I don't know what happened. Mary Lou. Mary Lou, and I went to unmute, and I I hit the wrong button, and I got disconnected. Okay. (laughs) Well, we've been having fun tonight. Radio airwaves, folks. Uh, Anna, do you remember? I had to Mm -hmm. mute because I have kids on this, and I didn't want you to hear them. Okay, you have what on your phone? So, I have children here. Oh, Mary Lou has children. Okay, Mary Lou. Well, I was asking you if you heard of the Love and Lighters. No. Oh, you haven't? Okay. I mean, well, maybe, just... but, but not in that context. Oh, okay. Well, uh, it's basically what I said. It's people, they call us Love Lighters or Love and Lighters. And uh, we are said to, they say, you're going to join the love and light community. Basically, it's those that are working with ascension energy, higher energy, the healing, positive energies, and metaphysical uh, ways of thinking. And uh, I don't know, it's up to everybody to decide how you feel. But we do use positive energy a lot with love. And we use wisdom, which is called the light, and uh, higher powers, and uh, how we 
work with each other. So I appreciate everybody for being here. Now, Anna, uh, Mary Lou, uh, do you remember Anna? Y'all been on the show before together. Yeah, I remember Mary Lou. She's always with you. (laughs) Wow. Hi. Hi. Okay. (laughs) So Mary Lou and Anna have been on shows before. And uh, I guess this is like old home week. I guess we're going to start back up for the summer, folks. Now, uh, let's ask some questions of some of our regulars. Is it better to be 9 to 11 Eastern or, or wait, that would be 10 to 12? Is that too late, Anna, for New York, in your opinion? What? Or is Can what time is show? Yeah, oh. is it too late? Everybody Not tonight was tuning in at 9 o'clock. Not for you? Well, sometimes I don't know. Uh Bill, you got in at 9, but you know we've we've uh what it is right now is if we can do 8, that's 9 Eastern folks, 8 Central, 7 Mountain and 6 Pacific. So, uh I came on at 8 tonight, but if I come on at 10, 10 to 12, a lot of people go to work on Thursdays. But, you know, this is a group thing. That's why I wanted you people here tonight. So, we can all work together and be who we are and show up and help people. And I'll do readings probably uh, on Tuesday, I think, Tuesdays. And Wednesday, uh, or Wednesday, we can do Ascension Psychics on that night. Thursday is just to everybody to show up for a panel. And uh, whatever comes up for us is uh, the ACE Metaphysical Institute. Now, I know you're going to say, well, where is your website? Well, Believe it or not, the ACE Metaphysical Institute is part of the Ascension Center organization, Ascension Psychics, and I broke it up. And we have uh, the T.J. Mars ACIR, which I'm T.J., and we have several websites, and some of them have our historical documents. So it just depends on your part and what part you're going to play, past, present, future, and how you can fit in. But, uh, Sherry, you sound like you'll fit in really good. Uh, with Bill, me, Mary, and Anna, and uh, Anna's been calling in for what a couple of years now, It'll easily. Anna, isn't that right? I guess, yes. Maybe even three, because uh, definitely did, three. You think? Yeah, because back to twenty, and it may have been twenty twelve. I don't know. We this is going to be our fourth year, folks. June six. So if you're new, thank you. So four years coming on. Now, Bill started 12 to 13. Anna, you were right in there. Do you remember? Because you you remember how many times you've renewed in New York, don't you? But you think it was 2013? Yeah, yeah I think so. Hey, Bill, do you remember Anna's voice? We didn't keep a record, folks, just in case you're wondering. <laughs> you, it's kept universally in the well, Akashic field. <laughs> what do you think, Bill? No, I, I'm not. I'm, I don't. Maybe I just wasn't on when she was on because I don't recall Anna. But She's been on I, a lot of my psychic reading shows when I did okay. readings, yeah. tarot I readings. Haven't the, I haven't had a psychic reading for years. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. That, that, I haven't done a lot of the psychic reading shows, so I, that may be why I haven't uh, haven't met Anna before. Well, uh, Anna. You and Mary both, uh, how is your lives going? Because uh, you both came on the psychic reading shows, but has your life been pretty good since we ought to hear from you and see what you're both doing? Uh, and San, uh, Sherry has got a degree and been called here, but she could help us out a lot too, hopefully, in the future. But Anna, how is your life going? Is it good? Yeah, it's it's better than three years ago. Thank you. Good. Oh, that's good. <laughs> yeah. Well, hopefully, being actually, a part of your life. Do you remember? Uh-huh. Do you remember Matthew? Yes. Mm. I actually got back together with him for a short time mm. after three years. So I don't know. I just we just taking a break now. Oh, okay. So you got back, and now you're back. But now, was he the one that rode the bike or not? Or was he the before bike. the bike? Yes. Yeah, he still rides the bike, and we ride the bike together. <laughs> good. Yeah. Well, good. Good for you. 